What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Center for Stingray Biology. I have another shipment here today, okay? But this shipment is for me again. It's not for Rodrigo. He's gotten enough fish. I'm sure you guys saw that unboxing video. I'm really glad that that Siamese tiger made it there uh, in good condition. I almost tried to swipe that fish from him and uh, throw it in my tank. But I can't do that to him. But anyways, I got my own fish here today and we're gonna do this unboxing for you. So stay tuned. We're gonna move these boxes inside to the, to the acclimation table and then you'll get to see what is here today. Okay, come on, let's bring these boys in and uh, get them opened up. What's up guys, we're back, the fish are ready. I spent a few minutes to remove all the tape so I don't have to bore you with that, but I'm ready to crack open the first box, all right? But I just wanted to correct something that I said earlier. Um, not all these fish are for me, some of them is for you, okay? Only two fish is for me, and then the other ones will be available for sale. And it's something that I haven't had in a while, and I'll explain to you why I haven't had it in a while. In one of my older episodes, we were talking about like changing the pond liner or versus putting in epoxy coating. And I had mentioned I had a bad experience with putting down a rubber coating and I lost my entire breeding stock, okay? But I never, I don't think I ever said what that was. And that was my whole breeding collection of the pure Royal P14s, okay? So it's been quite a few years that uh, since I've had any and uh, since then I abandoned that project and I moved on to my Galaxy hybrid projects which is all the pups that you've been seeing um, me post about right so now I'm getting back into the P14s and um, maybe I might keep some to grow out as future breeding stock but probably majority of it I will be selling off so it's available to you guys so where well, this is box number one Okay, here we go. See right there. Box number one. Let's see what is in here. I'll open it facing you guys. All right, I'm ready, boy. There we go. Da -da -da. All right. So we got some bottles of ice here. I'm gonna remove that out of the way. It's nicely packed. Came in very clean water. Can you guys see the fish? Very good, good quality here. Um, you know, whenever I get fish from overseas. I don't just randomly buy from anybody. These are long-term partners that I've been working with, you know, where they buy rays from me, I buy rays from them. So it's a working relationship. So I'm buying from sources that I trust, okay? And I can guarantee you the health of these things will be on point, just like the health of my rays. I know once I put these in my tank, I bet you if I feed it in an hour, they will be eating already right away. So. That's why I would never pass on anything to you that I wouldn't consider for keeping for myself, okay? And that's my level of quality control and standard that I like to pass off to you guys. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna start cracking open these, these bags. Oh my goodness, <laughs> they tie it so tight. Here's a really good tool for opening up bags, okay? Right there, just like that. Get it over the rubber band and the whole thing's gonna unravel. Oh, maybe not. All right, so this guy ties it a little bit differently from what I know. All right, so we're just gonna keep opening. Wow, these bags are long, what the heck? You think that's overkill, guys? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Can you get the whole thing? Yeah. This looks like a huge sock. All right. But anyways, we're gonna crack all these open. And then I'm gonna try to show you guys I'm gonna acclimate these things and uh, get them into their tanks. That's two. Let's see, I know now it's this rubber band. So, instead of uh, the way Rodrigo opens it by yanking and yanking and yanking like this, all you need is a little screwdriver, just like that pop open the first one, just like that. And the whole, oops. Okay, you're making me look bad now. There we go. 
much, much easier and don't have to pop a blood vessel doing it. All right, so we got this open. I'm gonna start acclimating these first. I'm gonna acclimate them straight in their own bags. All right, I'm not gonna pour them out, but let me just roll down these ridiculously long bags. There we go. To, so that's more workable here. You know what, just give me a scissor. I'm just gonna cut it down. It's no point for me. You know what, you know what? I can always reuse these bags too, so let's save it. All right, while I do this, oh, you can give them a little, wow, look at that. That's really nice. I mean, maybe it's just me. I haven't had P14s in a while, but this is, very, very top quality stuff yeah. here. Wow, look at that. Yeah, but he got new first. So you know what, guys? I think I might keep a couple for myself just so that I can start rebuilding my collection. Hey, you but done your work? I'm not gonna hoard everything, all right? You guys can have some too. What, come here? I can. Once I get these uh, acclimated and in the yeah. tanks, I see them eating and eating well, okay? Not just casually grazing over the food, but actually attacking and chomping down the food, I will have it up available on the website at stingraybiology.com and at predatoryfins.com, all right? So you guys can choose to buy from either website. It's it's all the same to me. Okay, what, are you gonna say? what is it, Tim? What is it? There's a fish in the wrong tank. There's a, I know, you know, <laughs> you see that way? That's what she's talking about. That little guy circling around. Yeah. He escaped from that basket. Kim, I had him in that basket because I have the bigger catfish down there in the corner. Show them all right down here in the corner. See, I have those bigger tigrinus down there. So I separated the smaller one because I was worried that the, the big catfish is gonna eat the small catfish. He eats so much, he does Yes, all right. Are you done your work? Uh-huh. What are you? Are you doing my turn You done your everything? Uh-huh. What about the American? I did body? everything in, no. Not yet. Right. It's not 11 yet. Oh, okay, okay. We're all set up here. I can still help you. So now I'm going to start adding some water into each one of these bags. Let's start with this one. So cool. Just like that. Give each one a little one. Yeah, we come with this one. You can see it in the camera. Yeah, you can see it in the Keep the fish in the middle. Yeah. All right. I really like this one. Okay. So while that's adjusting, I'm gonna start opening the other bags and then we'll come back around to this one. And it's just going around in a circle, circle, and then eventually they'll be fully acclimated and then we'll put it in the tanks, all right? So let's get started on box number two. And of course, it is da, 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 the same thing. <laughs> okay, again, at first, what I like to do is take a quick look at each bag, take a look at the fish. They're doing good. Water's clean, no pressure, right? No rush. I can take my time, do things nice and slow, and make sure everything is done properly. But in situations where the water comes in really dirty, like when we bring in the Asia shipments, because um, those were much more densely packed, it's more critical and we have to act faster. Unfortunately, you know, I would like to show you those unboxing videos, but um, I just don't have the time to do the video and handle the fish at the same time. So I defer the unpacking video to Rodrigo when he receives it, all right? And uh, I like to watch those videos as well because it shows me what a great job I did at getting the fish to him in good condition, right? All right, so let's pop these open now. Um, and it's gonna be the same thing. So I'm stingers, I see a fish down there in the bottom tank there. What? So, I see two fishes right on the bottom tank. Oh, okay. Right over there. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they're there. I don't know. I think they're, they're just playing dead. That they're playing dead? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so we're just gonna pause for a second here while I unbox all this because it's pretty much the same thing and I don't wanna bore you with that. When we get to some more exciting parts like uh, revealing the fish and pouring it onto the tanks, I'll be right back with that, okay? All right, so we got everything all opened up. 
and I already started the acclimation process. We added some water already, but I'm just gonna give you a quick glimpse. Um, see if that flash works better or not. Probably not. All right, there we go. See, very nice. All P14s or Galaxy P14s. We're gonna do one more change of water and then I am going to be adding it into their tanks. Just giving you guys a quick look so you guys see what we got here. So I'm so glad to have these uh, galaxies back in my life again. Here you go, Oi. Let's uh, dump some of this water out and then we will uh, get it into their tanks, right? Let me pour some of this out. All right, guys, we're ready to put these fish into the tanks. Uh, we have them all fully acclimated. So now just one at a time, I'm gonna dump them into their tanks. So we're gonna put these guys right in here. These guys are very good size too. And uh, you can see the pattern is developed already or, or starting to develop very nicely. With P14s, when they're born, you don't see that white center, but you see like that tannish um, color, what we call, I call a turtle shell, okay? You can see this guy right here, the white is a little bit less developed. So you can see what I'm talking about, that, that turtle shell pattern. And that's what they look like when they're born. And then as they grow and develop, that shell kind of fades away to a white center in the middle, okay? And that's where you start to see what we call the, the galaxy spots. And then the fish will get more black, all right? Uh, you can show them this one. This one seems to be more further along. So the black is starting to come in. So the P14s definitely go through a very nice change. And uh, that's what makes it so interesting. But the only problem is it's hard to tell the quality of the fish in terms of pattern when they're first born because all you do see is that you know shell pattern and then it's at this age when they start to change over that you can kind of judge what the potential will be as they grow older so um, I am definitely very very happy with this I never had a doubt quite honestly of the quality otherwise I wouldn't have gotten these animals and they're good size too which is also a plus so once we get all these guys into the tank I'm gonna give it a few hours and then I'll probably drop a little bit of food in there and just to see their reaction to the food and then slowly as each day passes you know I'm gonna introduce more and more food and then they should be ready to go in a few days quite honestly that's the whole batch of p14s oh that's a really nice one too for all you guys out there who are looking for good quality galaxy p14s here they are to my left and to my right be sure to check out the website um, you can order there as well or you can call and text message me um, and I can try to reply to you but thank you guys again for watching uh, I'm so happy. Look at these guys. They're so beautiful. I'm so glad they, I, I got these fish again. They're so beautiful. I really missed having them around. Um, it is also one of my favorites as well. Honestly, guys, I have a lot of favorites. All right. Um, but we still got a couple of more fish over there to, to open up and show you guys. But I will leave that for the next episode. And it's a really special fish once again. So please don't miss out. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And definitely hit that notification bell because you do not want to miss the next video.